your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good morning, I'm Glenn Kittle, and this is your latest news update from Western Mass News. After a 13-hour standoff in Worcester, police have a suspect in custody. Investigators say a 21-year-old suspect shot two family members Friday morning, then barricaded himself inside the home. When police arrived, he fired rounds at the officers and ran back into the house. Hostage negotiators and a mental health clinician were called to the scene. And the Mass Department of Public Health warns swimmers to stay out of water due to concerns over human waste in public swimming areas such as beaches. 50 local beaches after the water quality was tested. The beaches span the state and are all being monitored for dangerously high levels of human waste. And the high levels of waste are likely due to recent rainfall that has washed bacteria into the water. And two parents right here in Western Mass are carrying on their son's legacy through an organization on fentanyl awareness before losing his own life to drugs. Paula and Phil Young tell Western Mass News their son was given marijuana by a friend that had been laced with fentanyl. Before Andrew's tragic death, he started an organization called Achieve Greatness. After his death, his parents kept the name and turned their tragedy into purpose by raising awareness of the dangers of fentanyl while still keeping the organization's core foundation intact. Good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Leah Murphy. We're starting off mainly dry but cloudy, but we are expecting to see some showers and downpours as we head through the day today, as well as some embedded thunderstorms. So we're going to continue to see that become a little bit more numerous as we head into the late afternoon and into the evening. Today, temperatures are only going to top off around 80 degrees or a little bit higher. And then we are going to continue to see these showers and storms kind of continuing overnight. And we could also be stuck with a couple of downpours as well. So flooding is a little bit of a concern heading into the overnight and into tomorrow as well. So we are going to be looking at rain continuing continuing throughout much of the day tomorrow before tapering off as we head into the evening and into the overnight. So it looks like Tuesday will be a mainly dry day. Again, with flooding being the main concern, there will be a flash flood watch in effect for all of Western Mass from 8 p.m. tonight until 8 a.m. on Tuesday. It looks like we'll be drying things out for Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll take another run at the 90s by Wednesday. And it looks like shower and thunderstorm chances return once again as we head into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with temperatures in the middle to upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Have a great day, everyone. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.